بودم Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Dongan Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, Maki came to our room and let us know that, hey, you gotta do stuff. Honestly, uh. I actually. She said to come to go to her lab, right? Okay, let's go to Maki's lab. Oh no, she didn't. I totally miss. Oh! She did. Hmm, what are these guys doing out and about? Um, Sumugi, what are you looking up at the sky for? Uh? Oh, Shuichi, I was just looking at the stars a little. I remember something Gonta said before. What did Gonta say? Yeah. Remember? After Kirumi's trial. Now that she mentions it. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just... Even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But stars here are different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. Actually... Oh. I was just thinking... The stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but... They're pretty. That reminds me. I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. You're right! I need to thank Gonta. You're right. Hey! Do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. There's something I have to take care of. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. Hmm. But there's one other person of interest as well. Kibo, everybody's out tonight. Shuichi! It's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing out and about at this hour? Okay. I promised to meet up with Maki. I see. Well... I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time on the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. <sighs> that was only a few days ago. Really? The student council was only a few days ago? It feels like we formed the student council with Angie ages ago. A lot of things have happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. Um... At any rate, please be careful. Being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Especially now when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. I'll be careful. Huh. Dang, hearing him say it out loud that Angie's, uh... That Angie's murder was only a few days ago, dude. These jokers are killing each other left, right, and center! Holy crap! Man, even just walking through the, uh, through a fictional high school at nighttime, dude, this is creepy! It feels like someone's about to jump out at every corner. Not fun at all. Dude, Kaito's probably gonna be in here bleeding his guts out. Yeah, this is not good music. Ah, oh, sorry I'm late. Or is Maki just gonna try to patch things up? Hmm? Uh, okay. Oh, so you came too? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Silence. <sighs> yup, she's trying to patch things up. As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? Why would you want to see my wep- You know... But wow! There's a ton of stuff here! Can you use all these, Maki Roll? I see. Yes, more or less. So... But there's no swords of any kind here, Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched a mission with a katana. Hmm... I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Mm. Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Huh? Oh, what's in that black case over there? Black case? 
As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far bookcase. So... What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm, let's see. And then, Kaito pulled something from the black case. What's this? It's a bunch of parts? Looks like for a bow. I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. So when you put them together, they become a crossbow. <laughs> Looks interesting. Hey, Maki Roll, can you teach me how to put it together? Yeah. Dude, Kaito's been fishy all, like, well, Kaito hasn't been fishy all game. I've just literally accused him every single time the opportunity's presented itself. But now he's actually acting suspect. Sure, whatever. I don't mind. Uh... Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then, put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... <laughs> While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh, uh-oh. Kaito struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Oh. Whoa, since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow! So what? It doesn't matter who builds it, though. That's right. It seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Hey. Next time? Next time? We're not gonna talk about that? Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No. I... no, that's alright. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. Then let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Yeah, sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? Uh, it seems like I'm not at 100%, so I'm gonna go back first. Go Dang, ahead. dude. Hey. Kaito, extra unreliable all of a sudden. Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Mm. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. How annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well... Uh, well, that's just Kaito. <sighs> You're the worst, too. Huh? Well... I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But... I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Gonta... If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I... I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. <sighs> hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. But now that she mentioned it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So the night passed without incident. Kaito made himself a little fishy, but in the end... I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I had finished, I returned to my room. Oh, still? Huh. Usually it would have kicked us to the next day by now. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the... thing with me and Kaito. All right! I need to make up with him, for us, and for Maki. I fell asleep thinking about it. <sighs> Ooh. He's dying, dude. Damn it. Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it! I'm running out of time. 
So is Kaito about to do something desperate in order to get to see the stars before he dies? I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I, I still haven't gone to, to space. Damn it. Okay, so Kaito is definitely going to have a big role in the next one. Whether it be dying. Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. I want to print the words reckless beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It's what makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations. I think he's supposed to be Rocky in this. Or not Rambo, Rambo. It's what makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. So is that a commentary on what Kaito is about to do? About what's motivating him at the moment? Recklessness in order to see his dreams realized at any cost? Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! Rise and shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there! Embrace your homicidal urges! And have a fabulous day. Well, okay, that's certainly a way to end it. No, no homicidal urges for anybody, dude. Except maybe for Kaito. I'm sure everyone is gathered in the dining hall. I should go too. Yeah. We'll probably meet someone on the way there. Maybe one or two people. Kaito, though, dude. He is, uh... He's probably not got too much longer left. Oh, Himiko. What's up, dude? Hey, Suichi. Good morning. Uh, okay, good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Hmm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. Since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I'm even eating breakfast every morning now. Mm. It'd probably be good if we kept up this schedule after we get out of here. If I do that, it'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of this schedule, but I think they've grown a bit. Uh... I'll grow them bigger and bigger this way. Then no one will be able to call me titless. Huh? Himiko? She's still bothered by that? Yeah. Nothing. I'll get going now. <laughs> okay. But it looks like it's just Himiko then. Okay, so hopefully Kokichi isn't causing any trouble. No, he's not even here. Kokichi's not here. Well... If he was, it'd be complete chaos. That punk. What are you thinking of? Huh? Well... You're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried, too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. <sighs> sure enough, he's a master of hide-and-seek. It can't be! He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well... No, as long as Monokuma is here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway. Listen up. I gotta tell you guys something. Kaito has an idea? It's a little awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. Well, let's first hit everybody up and see what they're thinking. <sighs> Kokichi too. But what is Kaito planning? Let's listen to him and find out. Sumugi, what is your hot take, dude? Uh, I wonder where Kokichi went. If he's off by himself, who knows what he's up to? Kibo. Well, I'm honestly surprised. I do um, not expect Kibo to make it to the end of the game, dude. Though I do not know what crazy thing Kaito will say. We should hear him out. And then Maki Hongkawa. Hey. Make sure you talk to Kaito. She probably doesn't mean just right now. 
Um, what's your idea, Kaito? So... Hmm? Oh, yeah. Lacking subtlety, Kaito averted his eyes from me and looked around. You know... Looks like Monokuma is in here. Well, I wouldn't care if he was. Kaito turned to us, his expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. But to do that, I need your guys' help. Please. So please, help me out here. This is not the inspirational music. Huh? What? So is Kaito lying about trying to get us all out of here and really just wants to get us into the stars? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Hold on. What are you talking about? Um... Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with me. Huh? Fight Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our best chance. Since the Monokubs are gone, the Exosouls that were protecting him can't move. Let's do it. Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's ass! Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But... Monokuma's probably got more spares. Won't it be pointless no matter how many we beat? Ugh. Then all we need to do is destroy them one by one until there aren't any left. But... We don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Yeah, this sounds like a terrible idea. Even without the Exosouls, this academy is still under his control. Hey! Then you're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. I don't know, that didn't work out so well for Akane, but... Well, it didn't work out very well for Nekomaru. Akane was fine. If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight. Hey, guys! If we don't stand up now, then when? But... We don't have anyone who can fight. Like Gonta or Tenko. Then... Then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. So Maki is gonna sign, a, uh, sign on with this. <sighs> what? Well... I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki... <sighs> Everyone! Let's do it. What? Kibo, you too? I heard it. My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said, now is the time to stand and fight. It may be a dangerous course of action, but if it will prevent future victims... I... Then I've decided that I will fight Monokuma. Mm-hmm. You. I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. What? Were you really waiting for that? I... Don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. Great, huh? That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. <sighs> yeah. Okay, then. Me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. Hey. You're going to join as well, right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. All right. So we all agree. Then it's decided. Let's do it. We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yeah. Let's show him what we're made of. Hmm. I won't even need to use my magic. No. I think that if you can use magic, now's the time for it. Well... And when do you guys want to start? I'm fine with starting right away. Nah. Well, don't get ahead of yourself, because this will be the final battle. You should make sure we're prepared. He's really talking like it's the final boss battle. What? Prepared for what? I mean... Prepare for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> So you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself? Huh. Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. All right. The battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's meet up at the gym. Okay, so... The gym for the final battle. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. Is it going to give us free time before the final battle? Yeah, looks like. Alright, that's fine by me. A fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but... What is this sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. 
I can't imagine he'd just ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. Free time start. Okay, and now it's the super happy fun time music again. Um... Let's... Let's try hanging out with Maki. Where's she at? Oh. Map. Maki is... It looks like she's just... Right in front of this, uh, right inside of the school building, so... Yeah, let's head over. Okay, so she was a little bit off to the side, but that's fine. <sighs> Kaito's been going back and forth between the gym and the school building for a while now. I think he wants to prepare for tonight, but when I offered to help, he turned me down. I told him not to overdo it, but he won't listen to me at all. What should I do? Maki looks like she's in a bad mood. Um... Should we yes or should we no? Okay, <laughs> let's yes. That's true. Yeah, he'll make us clean his mess like he always does. Let's leave the preparations to him then. Alright. I spent some time with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's give her a present. Um... We should still have stuff she's gonna like. Cufflinks. Nah. Hand grips, metronome. Fashionable glasses, definitely not. Pocket tissue. Aluminum water bottle, lunchbox. Nope. Sports towel. Upbeat humidifier, Semazen doll. Hmm. Hammock. Cleaning air freshener. We probably should have paid a visit to the school store before doing this. Rice toy blocks. Hmm. Pure white practice sword, which we definitely... Uh-oh. Okay, we might have screwed this up. Um... For stalkers. Hmm. Let's try giving her... Picture book artist, no. Book of animals, definitely not. Kaito would like that. This workout clothes, maybe? Uh, okay. This is probably not gonna go over super well. Got a minute? I didn't think I would get something like this from you. Okay, so... Saved by the skin of our teeth, dude. But I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know that assassins were scouted. That's right. It's better if you didn't know. Also, there's no need for you to know. But gathering children from orphanages? I couldn't believe it. Hmm. Do you want me to surprise you even more then? Huh? Well... The orphanage, I was, uh, the orphanage I was raised at was run for that reason. Oh, really? Uh, um... What do you mean? Okay. To raise potential candidates as assassins. So she never had a chance, dude. What? You don't know? The cult donates to the orphanage as charity. That's believable, right? The amount of work I put in is the amount of charity given. That's how the exchange goes. Hmm. I see. How much is Maki carrying on her shoulders? Such small shoulders. If I remember correctly, you said you were taken in by a man. Did he raise you? What? Are you asking if he raised me as an assassin? No. No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> you don't need to be so serious. That man scouted me and put me in a training facility. That's... I remember you saying that training was quite harsh. That's true. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. The basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. They physically beat us to help us withstand torture, and taught us how to die when needed. Ta how do you teach someone that? Huh? How to die? Because... The only option left when you fail admission is to die, right? Dying sooner is the nicer way out. It's much better than being tortured alive. That's... So you were trained to withstand torture. What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? No. 
that I think I'll pass. I can't bear to think of what Maki had to go through. Well... After they tortured us, all I could do after- uh, all I could do after was just stare at the room's ceiling. They tried to break me during training, but I was still there. They tried to drag my dignity and tear it, to make me feel empty. But even then, I found myself. And then, they would do it all over again. <sighs> it wouldn't have been strange if I broke during all the torture. But even so, I tried my best. I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I couldn't do it. But most importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. So there was probably someone even younger. Huh? That girl. Sorry. Pretend you didn't hear any of that just now. But... What? But... Shut up. It's fine. Just pretend. Okay. Alright. I understand. Alright, we got another friendship fragment. Machi's report card's been updated based on our experiences with her. And then from there... Railing from Maki's incredible story, I return to my room. Um, probably need to hit up the school store. But it looks like we do have another bout of free time with us. We'll decide who to spend our last moment of free time with. That's, That's all going to be next time though, so definitely join me then for more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Bye for now, guys. Thank you.